Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of I am in the process of buying out another reseller. These are all of the items that I have been purchasing from this reseller who is just giving up reselling. Um, anyway, if you guys haven't seen the other videos in this series, I will link them up above so you guys can check those out. We are coming close to the end. I just had my final meetup with her and brought a whole carload back. Like I packed the car to the brim. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna show you everything that I got in this last load in this video um, because this video would end up being like five million years long, but we are going to get into it. Before I begin though, I have a fun little announcement. Um, I just did a kind of like name change slash slight rebrand over on Instagram. I'm probably going to be implementing it on here as well here on YouTube, but I am going to be finishing out this series before I make any changes. I love reselling. Obviously, that's what I do for a living. I own a brick and mortar consignment store, but I feel like I have been kind of trapped in this niche for a little while and I want to expand out of it just a little bit. Um, so I've rebranded to Per Diem Babe, which isn't a huge deal, but it's a big deal for me. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has like just been around on my journey. Anyway, now that that announcement is through, let's go ahead and get into the haul. I'm just pulling a random stuff. There is no rhyme or reason to what I'm showing you guys. I kind of just want to get through it and everything's starting to get mixed together. So I definitely don't want to show you guys any repeats. Um, but this is the first item here. It is this Nike puffer jacket with these massive pockets. What is this? Oh, it's a tag. Um, it's a men's jacket. She bought it for $40. So I'm gonna have to do some research on this and hopefully I can sell it for more than $40. But this is what it looks like. I feel like some of these pieces, like the thicker jackets and things, um, I might have to hold on to for a while because it is starting to warm up. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe people want to buy out of season, you know? Next, we have this beautiful, gorgeous dress. I feel like this style is really popular. Um, I've just been seeing a lot of it all over the place. Uh, this is by Ronnie Kobo. I think this is the first time in this whole series that I've gotten anything from this brand. Um, it's nothing crazy, honestly. They sell it at Nordstrom Rack, they sell it on Revolve. And this is called the Jordan Dress in Blue Aster. Um, I feel like Ronnie Kobo can resell for a good price and some don't, it just depends on the piece. So yes, I will have to do some research on these guys. This is probably one of the most fun pieces that I've gotten in this whole lot. Um, I don't know who would wear it, but it is absolutely fabulous. It is like this kind of rainbow cheetah print and the sleeves have sparkles on the cheetah print, which is amazing. And the brand is Rococo Sand. This is a brand, I have gotten a piece from this brand in this lot, but I haven't really had a lot of experience reselling it. So this is that it retailed for about $640. And the sale prep, the sale tag here says 229. So I, have, I haven't looked up comps or listed this or anything. So we'll see how that does. I think in the last video I was talking about how um, I was kind of disappointed because items weren't selling. And I think the issue I was having was actually that I wasn't listing enough of it. I had only listed like a few items, but now I'm listing, I'm trying to list around 20 items a day and the sales are coming in. I'll kind of show a breakdown of some of the sales that I've been getting from this lot, and I'm really happy with it. So hopefully it just keeps going and I can keep photographing, keep listing, getting them up, and make some money off of this. Um, but this piece here, it's a little slip dress, and it doesn't seem to have like a brand tag. So let's see if it has something in here. Oh, it's by Zimmerman, and it's just li this little, slip dress, it's almost like a little nighty gown and there's no tags on it or anything, it just has a size tag, it says it's a size zero. Um, again, I'll have to look it up. Next, we have this striped midi dress by the brand Zarina. This brand usually does pretty well for me, but I don't think I've sold any of their dresses. I've only sold blouses or like tops from them and they've always done really well. So this is called the Lorraine dress, there's no price tag on it, but this will be absolutely perfect for spring or summer and I think this will do well. It even has pockets, so obviously it's gonna do well. Here's another piece by Ronnie Kobo, same as that 
like teal dress that I showed you a little while ago. Oh no, what did I do? This next dress is also by Ronnie Kobo, same as that teal dress that I showed you. It has a tie detail on the shoulder, it's like a one shoulder situation. And then it has like a ruching detail on the side. This is really pretty. I feel like a lot of these dresses like would be such good wedding dress outfits. Um, so yeah, really, really like that one. It's a size small and there's no price tag on it. This next piece is by Isabel Morant Etoile. I might be pronouncing that wrong. There's no slip underneath. I don't know if it's supposed to have a slip, um, but it's like completely sheer, completely see-through. And this retailed for $475. Um, it says it's a robe, but I feel like, yeah. I don't know. There's not really much for me to say about this brand. Like this isn't a brand that I'm super excited about. I know it retails for a lot, but not my favorite piece in the lot. This dress, on the other hand, I'm really excited about. I've only sold this brand once and it was flawed and it's still sold for over $100. Um, so this one is not flawed and I'm really excited to see how it does. But the brand is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this, Marchese. Marchese Note, I could be saying that wrong and I'm so sorry if I am, um, but it is this pleated gown here. She's floral, she's floor length, um, and she has like a belt detail that wraps around. She's absolutely gorgeous, brand new with tags. It even has like the return tag on the back, but I think that this one will do well. I haven't really done too much research on it, but yeah, really excited about that. Also, okay, so these next pieces, these next pieces are, I'm not really excited about them and I'm not quite sure what to do because I don't know if I want to list them or if I want to, I don't know, do something else with them. But they're all the same, I have three of them. And they are full workout sets. Maybe I'll try putting them in my store. I don't think that Under Armour really sells well for me, so um, I don't know, I'm, I'm interested to see why she bought them, but they are these leggings with the matching top and I have three sets. And um, yeah, I don't know, maybe if these are special, maybe I'll look up comps and see, but they don't seem like anything crazy to me. I mean, this retailed for 35 and this retailed for 70. So about a $100 set, but still, I just feel like this brand isn't anything crazy. So I'm not sure what I should do with these guys. If you guys have any insight, on what I should do. Maybe I'll just include them in um, that live sale that I still really do wanna do. I just have to go through everything and make sure that I'm grabbing all the items that might maybe have like minor flaws on them and then just like use that as a sale as and just load the store with that, um, but we'll see. Anyway, I have three of those. This next piece is so pretty. It is by Syncacept. Um, if you see, it is by Syncacept. Here's the tag, and she is this like pinky, almost purpley striped maxi dress with a cutout on the back. This is so pretty. I feel like if somebody wore this for like a baby shower or something, that would be adorable. It's even got a high slit, and it is a size six. It retailed for $465, but I am obsessed with this. I'm not a pink girl, but this is super cute, and I hope that this sells quick. Moving on, speaking of more gorgeous dresses, look at all of the details on this. There are so many straps, it's a little bit confusing, uh, but this is her. She's got cutouts here, the, sh the sleeves are sheer, and then it like crosses in the front here, and it's a maxi dress by the brand Pat Bow. I don't have a lot of experience with this brand either, but I got quite a few pieces from here, so I'm really excited to see how they go. But this would be just like the perfect dress to go to Mexico in or to go to in Hawaii or something like for a wedding or something. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't think there's a retail price on here, but this is called the Zamiya Long Sleeve Beach Dress and it's so pretty. This next dress is by the brand Stodd and it is just like a triangle strap. I guess this is probably more of a midi dress depending on your height. For me, this would, I mean, this hits like above my ankle, um, but 
She retailed for $315. She is called the Cleo dress. Uh, very pretty, very summery, but nothing crazy. I think Ula Johnson has definitely been like the top selling brand so far from the things that I've listed. Um, so I'm excited to get more of it. This is another Ula Johnson piece. She is a white like mini dress. I just noticed as I was lifting it up that there are some like armpit stains. So I'll probably add this to that sale and somebody else can deal with it because I am not, I don't have like the patience to clean things. I always think that I'm going to and then I end up with a tote of things that I haven't touched in like over a year because I just don't want to deal with it. Anyway, moving on with the items. I know I have at least one more of these guys, but this is also Ronnie Kobo. This is called the Carol Dress. She ties in the front and has a cutout in the middle here. She's really pretty. She is like a maxi or midi length, I guess, depending on your height. Um, it seems like there is a flaw here too. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a, I forget, what is this called? Um, anyway, the fabric kind of has like a, this isn't the right word, but I can't think of what it, oh, a pull. The fabric has a little bit of a pull right there, so probably gonna add this one again to the sale. I mean, it's good for whoever is going to be at this sale, because you guys are gonna get some really fun pieces that have fixable flaws or just minor flaws if you don't mind them. Um, but moving on, we have this guy right here. She's a little tunic dress, and this is by the brand Sandro. There you go. Buttons all the way down and it is unlined, but this is another good like vacation dress. I think this will probably do well around this time of year as well. This dress I am like kind of obsessed with and I don't know why, but it is by the brand ALC. It is a midi or maxi dress. It's sheer though, like you'd have to wear a slip or something underneath. Um, I just think that this fit would be really flattering. I, I don't love the colors, but I just think that the way that this dress lies would be really nice. Um, it is 100% silk. I think it's new with tags. Yes, it is brand new with tags, and um, I don't really know what else to say other than it is gorgeous, and um, I don't know. I have nowhere to wear it, so I, I'm not keeping it, but I'm excited to like look it up, see what the stock photos are, and see um, how much I can sell it for. All the pants and stuff kind of got put into this last round. Um, I didn't even know these were here, and I'm very excited about them. Uh, but these are by Burberry. Here's the tag. It says Burberry right there. And these are just some trousers. They are not brand new with tags. Um, so I'll have to probably use like Google Lens or something to do some more research on them. Uh, but yeah, look at that, Burberry pants. I had no idea these were in here. They have like a nice little stripe on the side that kind of dresses it down a little bit, makes it a little bit more casual. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully these will do well. This next this is by the brand ATM. It is just like a sweatshirt dress, nothing crazy. ATM doesn't really do that well for me anymore. I feel like it used to resell for a good price, but now their stuff is so basic. I feel like people don't really care for it that much. I could be wrong. Maybe I just haven't sold it in a while, uh, but it is just this mock neck, long sleeve, uh, oversized like sweatshirt dress. And then we have this sweater right here, which is by 360 Cashmere. Um, and you know what? I am like kind of, I have PTSD from that other one that I got from 360 Cashmere that wasn't 100% Cashmere, but this one is 100% Cashmere. Uh, it is striped, kind of reminds me of an Easter egg. So I should probably get this listed really soon so I can sell this for Easter. Next, we have the most buttery soft leather. Oh my gosh, we have this pair of buttery soft leather pants. And I just looked at their price tag, and these retailed for $1,000.95. They are by Rag and Bone. 
and they are i swear to you the softest thing i've ever touched they are so cute they're like a high rise they have a belted detail up here and then the bottom have like these little slits on the side um and i love that style on pants because then you can really show off your shoe but wow these are a thousand dollars that is wild <laughs> so wild to me Here's that other Ronnie Kobo dress. I am not seeing any flaws on this one or any pulls. So I'm happy at least I get to sell one for myself and then I get to sell one in my flawed sale. And if you guys want to know when I'm having that flawed sale, make sure you're following me on Instagram and probably on Poshmark too. On Poshmark, you can like be notified when I go live or when I make new posts. So if you wanna go over there and toggle those features on so you'll be notified when I go live, um, go ahead and do that. And then um, you'll be able to come and see all of the fun things that I have for the sale. And I'll probably ask you guys like how I should do it. Like should I start it at a low price and let you guys bid for it or have set cheap prices. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to format the sale, but I know I want to have it. This next Veronica Beard is another, I feel like Ula Johnson and then Veronica Beard are probably like the, the like staples of this haul, right? Like I have the most pieces from the, from those brands as well as like Syncacept and Rag and Bone and even Free People, which is a whole other tier. But this is Veronica Beard. It is brand new with tags. This is called the Satori dress um, in saffron, size 10, and it retailed for $695. Another really pretty one for springtime, even fall, I feel, with this mustard yellow color. Um, and yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Super tall. Like, it touching the ground is right here. And that is pretty much as tall as I am. So you can see my struggle with maxi dresses. I have a feeling that I'm going to take all the free people that I have and maybe just put it in my store. Uh, but this is a free people oversized sweater in a size medium. It says lime, but this is definitely more of a yellow to me. This retails for $128. I feel like that's a regular free people price, um, but it's very oversized. This is, again, perfect for spring, especially here. It's still pretty chilly right now, so um, someone might love that. We have another dress by Zarina. There is the tag. This is another like fun summery one. Like I can totally picture someone wearing this to like a European vacation or something. This is a size large, uh, retailed for, this says it was only retailed for $79, which I don't think that that's accurate. Uh, this says, no, this is not, oh, this is, <gasps> Oh my gosh, I have like some tea almost. I feel like maybe somebody switched the tag or something. <gasps> Drama. Um, because I have the actual Zarina tag right here that says Lolita dress in Amalfi blue, which makes sense, right? And then this tag from Nordstrom says blue, pink, soft stripe. And says it only retailed for $70 and it was on sale for $32.97. I know that this did not retail for $80. So, wild, somebody changed the price tag. <gasps> Uh-oh, wasn't me. I'll probably take off the Nordstrom tag and just leave on the Zarina tag. But, man, it is so sad how often you'll see that actually happening at, like, discount stores. So, keep your eye out if you do retail arbitrage. Because you don't want to be stuck with something that has the wrong tag on it. I mean, in that case, it would be in your favor, but some people take like non-branded items or other brands and then put expensive tags on them to kind of trick you. So don't be tricked. Okay, this next dress is by Dress the Population. This is definitely like a um, bridesmaids dress kind of. It has a high slit on the bottom here and it is a size medium. It's got the twist little tie right there. Nothing crazy. Um, I might pull these out during like prom season to see if anybody wants a dress like this. It's a little bit more modest. I mean, ish, right? It's not like crazy cutouts, but it's also like not crazy covered up. I don't know, we'll see. 
This next piece is by Alice and Olivia. I noticed quite a few Alice and Olivia pieces in this lot, uh, but this one ties in the back here. It is fully embroidered, which is super pretty, and it's just like a mini, mini dress. with braided straps and she retailed for oh my gosh did somebody change the price tag on this one too it says um that it retailed for the right here it says like the original price was okay i don't know if you can see this but right here it says the original price was 26 something and then it was on sale for 20 dollars uh, but if you go under here, it says it was $297. I don't know what, I don't know what funny business was happening here, but people were getting some expensive clothes for a steal. We have some more free people. This is like a really gauzy, oversized maxi dress in a size medium. It's new without tags, but it has like the button thing on it. Free people just doesn't do it for me. Like I know it's super popular and there are some things that are really cute, but it's just really not my style. Um, so like I'll sell it, but I'm not crazy about it, if you know what I mean. This, on the other hand, I really like. This is by Misa Los Angeles, and it's a size extra large. It is brand new with tags. It's like a zebra-ish print, but it's brown. It's just a really long slip dress. This is a size extra large, um, but I just love the neutrality of it and how simple it is, and I love the fit of it. I think this one will do well. Here's another Ula Johnson piece. I have to admit, this is not the prettiest one that I have. Uh, this is called the Fiora Dress in Teal and retailed for, I think that says $695. But this just looks like a sleeping gown. Like, what's his name? The guy from Night... Um, this just looks like a really old school sleeping gown. Um, so, I don't know. I don't see the vision here. But if somebody wants it, somebody wants to buy it, by all means. This next dress is absolutely gorgeous. It is by the brand Lost in Wonder, which is not a crazy brand at all. I feel like it's just a very basic like boutique brand. It has sold well for me in the past, but again, depends on the piece. Uh, this dress, however, is like just such a staple like Easter dress for like a mom or something. So I'm gonna get this listed really quick and even put it in my store maybe and see if someone wants to purchase it for Easter. <clears throat> Here's another Misa Los Angeles dress. Oh my god, the skirt on this is like an asymmetric, like it's short over here and gets longer on this side. It's got lots of ruffles, super cute. This is a size small. Um, I think that this would be really pretty on. This could also be like a fun Easter dress. Um, but yeah, really like this one. This is interesting. I don't know if this is a real dress or if it's supposed to be like a beach cover or something. But the brand is Missoni. And it is incredibly sheer except for up here. And this top part actually feels like the, the the triangle part feels like a bathing suit. But this whole part is kind of like gauzy. I'm not sure if this is actually a swimsuit or if it's just like a swim cover. But very interesting. There's lots of Misa Los Angeles in this round. Um, but here is this really pretty blue mini dress. It's got like a tiered skirt, size small. This is fun. It has like a different floral print ruffle down the sleeves. And it is kind of sheer. So you'd have to wear something underneath. This is by Alice and Olivia. And it is... This is by Alice and Olivia. This is a size 8. 
and it's like completely smocked on the top and then has this little like flare skirt this totally gives me like gossip girl vibes like i feel like this with like a chunky necklace and then some like platform heels would be something that they'd wear on Gossip Girl. I don't know why that's giving that. But anyway, I love the color of it. It's like a sage green. And I mean, it's cute. I don't know what you'd wear it to, but very cute. Okay, this guy is kind of flawed, but I think I might be able to fix it. Um, the There's like this drawstring that goes through the middle and it just came it like went inside so i have to pull it through and loose it loop it through but i've done that plenty of times with like my own hoodies so i think i can do that uh, but this is so pretty it's very like romantic and like delicate feeling it's by c by chloe and it is a size why do they have to be so secretive about the sizing like why can't it just be on the tag why do they have to hide it on like the inner tag on the bottom no one's gonna see it anyway okay let me figure out where this tag is i give up i don't know um but it's really pretty it's got the slip inside and yeah very delicate very romantic this is a midi dress by the brand ALC She's got like kind of metallic They're not really polka dots. They're they're like polka ovals <laughs> And they're gold and this is just a like halter neck midi or maxi dress Again, these are all like perfect for Easter. They all look like different kinds of Easter eggs We've got another piece. We've got this next piece by Reformation. I just sold a different Reformation dress from this lot um, a couple minutes ago on Poshmark. So we love to see it. This is the Maureen dress, retailed for $218. Just a little mini floral dress, super cute. Um, I will say though that with Reformation dresses, like a lot of the material is very, very sheer. Uh, so you just have to be careful with that. This is another, oh, this is really cute. This is just like a, this is really cute, but I have to be careful about the shoulders on these hangers. So I might take it off the hanger because you see how it like drops? It's going to leave like an indent on the shoulders there. Uh, but this is by the brand ATM. Again, this is just a sweater with a cowl neck. Nothing crazy. Um, this is like, I, I, I need to sell it soon or else I'm probably going to hold on to it again until... It gets colder again. This is the first piece I've gotten from this brand that isn't a pair of shoes. So I'm trying to figure out how these straps work so I can show you. There you go. This is her. She is a maxi dress. This is another dress. Like I would pair this with, where's that other one? Like if someone was, if someone was going on vacation, like I would put them in this probably with that other dress that I said would look good on vacation. A lot of these dresses would look good on vacation, honestly. Uh, but this is by Tori Birch. These next two dresses are perfect if you are celebrating a bachelorette or like a wedding party or something. This is by Ronnie Kobo and it is totally getting washed out right now. But it is such a pretty fabric. It's kind of like a satin floral. It's got a plunging neckline. It's got an open back. And then it like has this really fun tie sash kind of thing going on. Actually, I don't even think it ties. I think it's just kind of like a long asymmetric skirt kind of. This is a size medium. It is, doesn't have a name. Um, but yes, brand new with tags. Really, really pretty. I hope someone buys this for like a bridal shower or something because that's gorgeous. This next one is a little bit more on the casual side. Let's see if I can figure out how these straps are supposed to be. Perfect. Okay. 
This is by Misa Los Angeles. This one is new with tags. And it's just like a little eyelet mini dress. This would also be like perfect for vacation. I just need someone to come in who's going on vacation, who needs to be styled and has a good budget because I have their outfits ready for them. Oh my goodness. Um, this is adorable. If this was my size and I was going somewhere like fun for vacation, I would probably want to pick that up. But I don't think I have any trips planned. I have like a retreat that I'm going to in May in Palm Springs. But I don't think we're like going anywhere. I think we're going to like be at the house the whole time. So I don't think I really need two crazy outfits. And then I know our friends are getting married in San Diego in like August. But other than that, I don't really have any trips planned. So I don't know where I'm going to wear all these fun outfits. This is by Veronica Beard Jeans, which I believe is the cheaper line from this brand. And this is like a two medium, what is this called? Mixed media um, maxi dress. So it looks like it's supposed to be a shirt and a skirt, but it's just one piece. It's got this belted detail and it's a size small. I sold a similar one by Ula Johnson. Um, to my girl who comes in and buys inventory for me. I haven't even told her about all this stuff. I don't know if she's still in a shopping mood because I feel like she bought so much last time, but I should reach out to her and see if she wants to come shop again. This next piece is also very, very pretty. And this is by the brand Beck and Bridge, which I don't have a lot of experience with. I think I may have sold like one dress a few years ago from this brand. Here is what the tag looks like. It's brand new with tags. Let's see. This also seems like someone switched the tag on it. It says that it retailed for $80 and was on sale for $30. But I don't think that that's true. And it's making me like a little sketched out. Um, anyway, this is called the Woodstock Maxi Dress. And this is what she looks like. She's like kind of like a patchwork detail. She's got a cutout right here. This is for somebody who has very itty bitty titty. Who is this is for somebody who is part of the itty bitty titty committee because I feel like this does not provide too much coverage. Um, and then the whole back is open. So you definitely wouldn't wear a bra with this, I don't think. So you're not gonna have a lot of support. So if you need support this probably isn't the dress for you but it's so pretty this is a piece by alice and olivia i'm not too stoked about this brand like i don't really care too much for it um this is the dream castle dress Let's see if i can kind of splay it out here um, she's got like kind of a fit and flare shirt vibe going on. You can either button the neck to have a high neck or leave it open. It's got a belt, um, lots of florals going on. I just don't have a lot of um, luck with this brand. So we'll see how the more modern stuff does. The sleeves are kind of fun, uh, but yeah, we'll see. This is so wild. Like I, this is another piece that has a different tag on it. And I'm like, I don't want to make any assumptions, but why are there multiple pieces with incorrect tags on it? Um, this, it has the Nordstrom tag, but this says blue button on it. There is no blue buttons on this thing. This dress is Ula Johnson, which from my experience just in this haul, majority of these pieces from Ula Johnson retail for around $500 to $600. This is it retailed for $79 and was on sale for $32.97. So I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. Obviously, I'm going to have to take this off and say that it's not new with tags when I sell it. Um, but this is so interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, this is her. She is an interest. She's kind of plain. I wonder if it's supposed to be styled like with something else. It's got this zipper detail here. And um, it's just like a cotton midi dress with some puff sleeves. This is nothing exciting at all. This is Spiritual Gangster. I even have a hard time selling Spiritual Gangster in my store. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll put this in that sale that I'm doing as well. Um, this retailed for $78. It's a crew neck Savasana sweater. Um, but we'll see how this does.
but I don't know. I, I don't usually pick up Spiritual Gangster anymore. It's just hasn't really ever had like a really good resale rate for me. So it's not worth it in my opinion. But I think there was like maybe one or two other pieces from that brand in this haul. Next we have a wrap dress by ATM. And this is kind of giving robe vibes. But let me see if I can show you. So it's just like a true wrap dress. It's like a silky satiny fabric and it ties on the side. Very pretty. It's like a really deep plum color. And this is a size medium. There was only one bathing suit in this whole lot and this is her. She's by Billabong. And it's brand new with tags. There's no retail price on it. It's a size medium. It's called, oh, it's, it's a collaboration between Billabong and the Salty Blonde. I think it's really cute. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'll put this in my store, maybe I'll put it online. I'll look up comps and see if it's worth it to put online. Um, my price per item was kind of high, so if I can't double that price, then I don't want to have to pay Poshmark fees on it, so I might just sell it in the store and maybe take a little bit less, but at least I'm not having to pay fees on it. So that's my reasoning for that. This, I don't know if I've shown this before. I feel like I may have... I don't know if I got this in a previous lot or if I got this with this one because there's two of these. They are by the brand Maj. I want to say that I got this in another lot and I showed it to you already, but this is the second one. It's got cranes on it, it's new with tags, very, very pretty. This one's a size 38, um, but that was really easy to list because I already had one, so I just got to copy the listing. This is a dress that I'll definitely be pulling out during prom season. Um, I don't think this is anything crazy. The brand is Katie May. I think that's more of a like bridesmaid-ish dress. But I like the neckline of this because it is kind of sexy. Like you can make this go across your neck or as a halter. And it's just a maxi dress with this ruching detail. Um, and it's a size small. So yeah, not a lot of people come here to shop for prom dresses. But I like having some on hand just in case. Like for all the people who... Are, like don't want to have to drive all the way into Portland to go shopping or who last minute don't have a dress um, It's just nice to have some All right, we've got this dress by Alice and Olivia, which is kind of cute It has this like necktie, which I really like it is silk and it has this floral print It's like almost holographic. It's kind of trippy like when I'm looking at it and then it has like um, a tiered skirt so there's like one print on the top and then a different print on the bottom. And I think it's velvet. There's like a velvet trim on it. Really soft, really fun. Um, that's super cute. And then I have this dress, which I'm also obsessed with. It's by Ted Baker. And it has ruching all down the sides. It's like a sheer overlay with like a, a slip on the inside. And then it's a maxi length. So this is a size two in Ted Baker, which I believe comes out to like a six to eight, maybe like a medium. Uh, but it's very pretty, and I like this one a lot. This brand is new to me, and I don't know if it's going to show how pretty it is on the camera because the straps are kind of funky. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. All right, the straps on this one are a bit funky, but it is essentially a halter top. This top part, it just ties on the t back and on the top or around your neck. And then it's a whole maxi skirt. This brand I've never heard of before. It is called... This brand I've never heard of before. It's called Significant Other. And it says it retailed for $304. So we will see what this is, what this is all about. I think it's super pretty, very springy. So I'll have to do some research on that. But if you guys have any info on any of these pieces, let me know, because it just saves me a trip to, to Google Lens. Um, this here is by Veronica Beard. I want to say it's a top, but this is kind of giving like one of those outfits like on me. I don't know if you can see how low it goes. This is already like mid thigh for me. So this might be a dress, but I feel like this bottom part is sheer, so I'd have to wear something under. Uh, this is a size extra small. It's called the Rosha Mixed Media Pullover. I can't tell what the original price is supposed to say. It says like n something nine. I don't know if that says 19, um, but it was on sale for $14.96, and that just says 25% savings, so it must have been like $20, but this was not a $20 top. And underneath here, like that number, 
that was written there says $256. So literally that's multiple items that have had the prices changed on them. This feels kind of dirty. I don't know what to think about this. This dress is gorgeous. It's got this cutout detail. It's like layered almost as if it's supposed to be two dresses. And then it just has this cutout on the shoulder. It's a size medium by ALC and it is a maxi or midi dress and it's like a knit material. Oh, it's like fully, there's like a full shirt under here. So it's pretty layered. Um, I would say this is catered more towards like a winter style cause it is pretty thick. Uh, but I think that's really nice. I was really excited when I saw this cause I don't think I've ever sold anything from this brand either. It is Jenny Kane. I don't know if this is still as popular as it once was, but regardless, I'm excited to try it out. It's just this midi dress. This is very like cottagecore, boho, like that kind of like prairie-esque vibes, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and this is a size extra large. So we'll see how this, I'm excited to try out this brand and see if it's good. That was like my main reasoning for why I wanted to do this. A lot of these brands are things that I don't find often and I don't find a lot of. So this was kind of gonna give me a chance to experiment with some brands that I know are supposed to like do well that I don't usually find. And um, so far, I think I'm doing pretty well. I've been able to profit, like increase my profit, average profit per item to about $55. Uh, which is the highest that I've had it and I'm not a like luxury or designer seller at all So that's actually pretty high for me And I think that the more that I list this stuff I'll be able to at least maintain that that's my goal is to keep like a 50 profit per item $50 profit per item um, But obviously anything more than that is excellent This piece here is by dress the population. It is like an embroidered floral fit and flare dress size medium Kind of fancy, kind of fancy. I know there'll be a lot of weddings and a lot of parties this year, so I have all the dresses for anyone who has an event to go to. This is a beautiful coat by ALC, and I already got this listed. It was like one of the first things I listed from this batch because I was like, I need to get this sold ASAP or else I'm gonna be holding on for to it for a while and it's bulky so it's gonna be kind of hard to store um, but it is absolutely gorgeous if it was a smaller size I would have possibly kept it I haven't kept anything from this whole lot like from this whole batch of stuff I haven't kept a single thing and I'm probably gonna keep some shoes I may keep like a blazer or something but I just, I don't think any of this stuff is like fully my style or my size, but uh, we'll see. We will see how it goes. This is a size 10. It is 75% wool, 25% polyamide, um, but this is like the perfect staple coat for anyone's closet. And I think it's gorgeous, but I hope that it sells soon. Cause you could, you could still technically wear it in spring depending on where you live. We have another Reformation dress. This one's a linen floral, maxi dress very cute size it's a small size i don't know exactly what it is um i'm too lazy to look all the way through but yes very cute i sold another reformation dress as i was out helping a customer uh, but it sold on poshmark so people are still loving reformation i rarely find it like outsourcing i usually only find jeans and the jeans don't do very well for me so it's nice to like stock my closet up with some of the really pretty dresses because i know those do better this is another piece by atm we got a lot of atm this time this is just another little slip dress kind of looks like a nightgown again <laughs> this is a size large it's like a gold and black color this would look really cute with just like a simple heel i feel like this video is getting long however i know that i have a lot of stuff to still go through with you guys i was trying to get through this whole rack but there's still quite a bit on it so i'm gonna wrap it up in just a second um but if you guys have been liking this series so far Please comment down below that you guys have been watching. Please like this video. And um, yeah, we're coming to an end, which kind of makes me bittersweet. I mean, I just love making these videos for you guys, but there's gonna be better content on the way. I feel like I always gravitate towards like really easy
busy content, which is haul videos or something, and um, just doesn't fully align with me anymore. They are fun, but they're not exactly what I want to be doing. So anyway, let's do these last couple pieces. This is by Reese. There is the tag. It is brand new with tags. I want to say this is linen, but I could be wrong. It is wool and polyester. So never mind, it is not linen. <laughs> um, but it's just a basic blazer in a w women's size 10. Um, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I did this like, um, I saw that you're supposed to be dressing like your Venus sign and mine is like Capricorn, which is supposed to be like um, corporate chic. And so I'm supposed to have blazers and just like staple pieces. So I'm really wanting a blazer, but I don't know if any of these blazers are exactly what I'm looking for. Um, anyway, this piece is another slip dress in this like bubblegum pink color. It is a maxi dress. It's by the brand Legence, and it is a size large. This says it was on sale for $187, retailed for $375. Um, Legence is so interesting to me because I feel like it's it doesn't seem like it would be that expensive, but it is, and that's wild. I wanted to end, okay, I'm gonna end off with a really good piece. So I'll leave you guys on like kind of like a cliffhanger because there's a bunch more. There's like half of this rack and then the rest of this rack that I'm looking at now, plus even more shoes than before but this net last dress that i'm showing you guys is this stunner right here it is lace it's one shoulder and it's by the brand self portrait this is i think the second or third piece that i've gotten from this brand in this lot which i'm really excited about um but yeah she is absolutely gorgeous i already got her listed and i'm excited to see how she does she's very heavy though like if you were wearing this all night it's like wearing a weighted vest or something because she has some weight to her i want to say this is a size 8 or a 10 uh, but the the tag is pretty deep in there so i'm not even gonna look but anyway that is it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time for another video bye <laughs> I'm not going to do that.